Why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. As nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. Salutare tuturor și bine ați revenit la un nou episod din seria Red Dead Redemption 2. Hai să vedem, ne aflăm în Saint Denis. Se deci pare că avem o misiune și două encounteruri. Hai să mergem mai întâi la unul din aceste encounteruri să vedem despre ce e vorba. De fapt, cred că vom merge... Hai să mergem la Charles, că e mult mai aproape. Și apoi vom merge la unul din acele encounteruri. Yeah, who doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom? Now you can, as thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich. This is what America was made for, the chance for the cream to rise to the top. It's time you proved you were cream, and not milk. So you're the local business genius. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Nu știu ce să zic dacă merită 50 de dolari. Hai să o cumpărăm totuși. Vedem despre ce e vorba. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Listen, ignore me at your peril. At your peril, I say. You'll be poor, and I'll be rich. And so will those of you with the wisdom to pay attention, to learn from the best, from the kind of rich fellow who doesn't give a fool a break, but cares about those who care about themselves. Come on, I want to help you. space here to operate would be appreciated. Um. Hey now. Wake up! Please, for the love of all that's holy, I'm talking money, people! Money! Do you want it or not? Buy this book! It's reasonably priced! If you wouldn't mind taking a step or two back... Da, nu o să ne ajute cu nimic acea carte să ne îmbogățim. Singura cale de îmbogățire e fie să jefuim pe cineva, fie să lucrăm. Hai să vedem ce mai face prietenul nostru Charles. Cred că aceasta e galeria lui. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come ask. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about it. I think that it's Greek. That's far too modern. Look at these idiots. Just a Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, 
I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her... Delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you! That's it! <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. son of a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! <laughs> oh! Come on, horse! We'll leave hey. it! I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right! <laughs> <laughs> What can you say? It was not boring, huh? Excuse me. That, it was not. Art should test people. Push them. I thought I was a fraud. A no-talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did. And you are. Now, maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> okay, l-am ajutat și pe Charles. Să vedem, pare a fi o grădină botanică aici, sau poate e un alt artist. Hey. Ah, wonderful! Algen and wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, enchanté! Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? 
I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Când ai dat o listă cu mai multe iteme de care are nevoie, Poate o să le facem, dar ne va lua prea mult timp să le facem toate într-un singur episod. Le vom colecționa noi pe parcurs. Hai să mergem la acest uh, semn de întrebare. Nu ne spune exact ce este, dar probabil este o misiune principală. Hai să scăpăm mai întâi de urmăritori. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Am tot auzit pe individul ăsta care strigă. Și cred că am mai auzit pe cineva în Rhodes strigând. Deci probabil acela e prietenul lui. Gone. 
Datorită faptului că ne-a urmărit poliția, nu putem uh, să accesăm încă acest quest. Dar hai să facem încă un encounter. Se pare că are apă pe hartă. Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some guy? A European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make them nest the explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certain genius! Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with Torpedo. Watch the mine. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breed like man. Well, I'm not sure about that.
evasive maneuvers. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. There, all gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Ne-am descurcat destul de bine. This is really remarkable. This is just a demonstration of my prowess, sir. The real miracles. Ne se vede un corundă. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of the ocean, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us. Good to rule the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools, and unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my... Să se vedem, poate o să-i facem o vizită dacă o să fim vreodată în apropierea locației lui, de la Dover Hill. A devenit activ și acest quest. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. 
And even more obviously, I would be useless. Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Noi se vedem, va trebui să furăm documentele care atestă faptul că s-a găsit ceva petrol sub ținuturile indienilor nativi. Pentru asta trebuie să ne întâlnim cu acele două personaje. Da, să vedem pe unde sunt ei. Ia să vedem, încă nu apare misiunea. Dar dacă toți suntem în Sendenie, hai să vedem dacă putem să ne îmbunătățim armele. Let's get those hands up nice and high. Well, you look like the guiltiest person here. Come on. Nu se mai ajută la magazine de arme.
Ia, ok, cred că am scăpat. Dar va trebui să avem grijă. Pentru că ne pot recunoaște. Okay, nu cred că avem acest revolver. some better options for the sites. You made a good decision. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Hmm. Have an idea. It really suits you. Can I help you find something? That's a fine firearm. can be dangerous after dark. Always go armed. Cannot wait to give this a try. I can see you look after your firearm. Se pare că am făcut rost și de un pistol nou O să încheiem aici acest episod Mulțumesc tuturor celor care au rămas până la final Dacă v-a plăcut nu uitați să lăsați și voi un like Un subscribe Eu am fost Mr. M și ne auzim data viitoare